conservation of plants and animals objective of the course the first objective is to understand the importance of plants and animals as natural resources the second objective to acquire knowledge of various conservative practices and the third objective is to get sensitized to deforestation and its consequences the learning outcome the children use their own conservational methods to save plants and animals natural resources are one of the asset of any country the plants and animals found in the country are the natural resources we should be proud of our country as it is one of the mega biodiversity center in the world this makes us more responsible to protect and conserve them for our survival and sustaining life on earth one way to protect them is to conserve them this course is to educate people on conservation of natural resources of plants and animals the concept covered are flora and fauna endemic species endangered organisms ecosystem red data book and migratory birds the plants found in a particular area are called flora like wild mango jamun silver fern are some of the plants seen in panchmani biosphere reserve they are called flora of panchmani similarly the animals found in a particular area is called fauna of that area like chinkara blue bull barking deer cheetal leopard wild dog wolf dog wolf are examples of panchmari biosphere reserve among these organisms some of these plants and animals are found exclusively in a particular area called endemic species like wild mango and sal are found only in panchmari so they are endemic to panchmari biosphere reserve similarly indian jain flying squirrel are endemic to panchmari biosphere reserve when plants and animals number reduces to a level that they might face extinction like the number of tigers in our country then they are called as endangered organisms now how these animals and plants become endangered the answer is very simple when their ecosystem is disturbed now what is this ecosystem the ecosystem is a system where the plant animal microorganism live along with non living component such as climate soil river deltas etc when a plant or an animal is endangered it affects the food chain and indirectly the ecosystem we can find out about these endangered species from a red data book red data book is a source book which keeps record of all the endangered plants and animals we can find out which organism is diminishing in number through this book sometime you would have seen flock of birds like siberian cranes visiting india why do they move from their native place the reason is the low temperature is not suitable for their breeding so they visit a place which is suitable for their breeding in karnataka we see lot of sandalwood jasmine and banyan tree are they flora of karnataka exactly they are similarly indian elephant tiger indian cobra the great indian hornbill spotbill pelican 
these are all the fauna found in our Karnataka. Among these, few are only found in Karnataka, such as Kurunjifla, Terminalia, and Impatience. They are the endemic plants of our state. Some of them are endangered too: tiger, Indian elephant, lion, ten macaw, and some of the plants are pitcher plant, sal, and hopia glabra. How can we find about these organisms? There is a book called the Red Data Book. We can find all the information in there. But in our school level, how can we try to protect these organisms? We have to educate children and we have a biodiversity park in our campus. 